All right, let's take a look at Character Creator to Blender Pipeline. So if you look at what I have here, this is what I'm gonna show how to do. Uh, this character is from Character Creator, okay? And brought into Blender with a control rig. Okay, so again, really cool stuff here. Um, so let's just jump right to it. If we look here, I'll leave a link for this below, is um, you need the Blender Pipeline plugin download installed both on Blender and in Character Creator, okay? So again, um, I'll leave a link for this. This is free from the Relusion website and it allows Blender and Character Creator to communicate back and forth. So let's get right to it. I'm just gonna go File, New. So I've got a blank Blender scene. And if I come in here, um, I'm just gonna go File, New. Okay, so I've got a blank Character Creator scene. So let's take a look at how this would be accomplished. Um, after you plug in the um, or install that plugin, you can see right here, Blender Pipeline. This is where that pipeline lives in Character Creator. So I'm just gonna go over here to the content area, actor, um, clothed. You can see here's the character that I was uh, showing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of drag that character into the scene. Okay, great. Now, if I uh, play this, I can see, okay, there's there's a little bit of motion on here. Um, and I could switch that. I could go like this. I could say walk. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know, whatever I want, it doesn't really matter. Now I feel like, let's say I'm ready. Um, and, and by the way, I could drop different clothing. I could change up, you know, kind of do whatever I want. But again, this isn't really a character creator tutorial. It's more of a workflow tutorial back and forth. So. Again, do whatever you want to the character, but then if you're ready to go to Blender, you would simply do this, uh, window, and, be, and actually before I do this, I'm just gonna create a folder on the desktop where I'm gonna save this. So I can see that this is uh, Camilla. So I'm gonna go file, or right click, file new, and I'm just gonna call, okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go um, window, uh, plugins, Blender pipeline, export character to Blender. Um, and I'm going to say, you know, the selected models with motion, and I'm also going to delete the hidden faces. So what that means is that, um, any of the faces underneath the clothing are going to be deleted. Um, and, and the reason that that is, is because it's easy for the, the body to penetrate through the clothing and that obviously will look weird. So I'm just going to have delete hidden faces and I'm going to go ahead and hit export. Now it's going to ask, Hey, where do I want to save it? I'll save it in the Camilla folder and I'll just call it Camilla and FBX save. Once that's saved, I'm going to go to Blender and in Blender, let's get this uh, up and running. So I just went to File, New, General, then you're presented with this. I'll go ahead and delete the cube. And again, if you have that um, add-on installed in Blender, and by the way, the way that you would do that is download it from the, the link below, um, and then you can go to File, uh, or I'm sorry, Edit, Preferences, and you'd go here to Add-on, and you would search it, or you would go right here and you'd say um, Install from Disk. Then you would find where that zipped file is located on your desktop or on your computer, and then you can see that once it's installed, it's going to be called CCIC, that's Character Creator and iClone. I'm going to make sure that that's checked. And once you do that, it's going to live over here on this little right, uh, this little arrow right here. If you press N as in Nancy, it'll open up the side. You can see it'll open up like that. And I can see that I've got some tabs here, Character Creator Pipeline, uh, Character Creator Create, and Character Creator Link. I'm going to click on the Character Creator Pipeline. And right here, I'll go to import character. So if I do that, I can come in here, go find her. There she is, and click import. I will go ahead and just kind of leave that alone. Import. It might take a little bit of time. It's going to think. And then right away, I'm not going to be able to move. It's, again, loading all the textures and all that good stuff. Then once, yeah, now you can see that I can kind of manipulate this now. I can see here she is, and if I go like this, the animation has come through, okay? The other stuff that's happened, if I click on this, 
all the textures have come through too, which is really cool. Okay. Um, and in this area here, I can go down to scene tools and I can even kind of, um, go find an environment for her. So I'm just going to click on studio two and there, take a look at that. We've got this lighting that's happening. And if I zoom out, you can see that that's what is happening there. Um, if I want to hide the icons of these lights, I'm going to go right here and just going to turn off extras. Okay. That's cool. And, um, now I can see all of this happening. Okay. So what if I want another motion? Okay. Different animation. Well, I can go to character creator and now let's say if I add a different motion, so maybe I come down here to animation motion. Um, let's see, perform. Let's see here. So maybe I want this, uh, pose, whatever this is. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this on. And now I can see that kind of side to side, you know, doing whatever. Okay. So now let's say if I want that, I can go to file export, whoop, file export FBX clothed character. I'm going to say blender. Okay. And then I'm going to just say motion. I'm going to say, um, current animation, all export. And I'm going to call this, um, let's see what it doesn't matter what I name this, but I feel like I'll just call this, um, my motion. FBX. Okay, cool. Now in Blender, if I want uh, her to do that motion, you can see here's just the kind of the walk in place motion that we had originally. I would just go to import animation, then go here. Here it is. My motion, motion, leave everything alone. Click it, import animations. Now, it's probably not going to do what you expect because you can see that, well, we got the skeletons kind of crazy. Now, why is it the skeleton? Cause remember we just said, Hey, we want the motion. Okay. Uh, no sense in importing her geometry twice. So I can see that here it is. This is a skeleton moving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hide that skeleton for now. And if I want her to kind of perform that motion, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to close scene tools and go to rigging and animation. And I, you'll notice that, uh, what, what's happening here? I don't see anything. I have to make sure that I click on her. And when I click on her, I get additional kind of, um, choices, if you will. And I can see here, if I open this up, maybe I make this wider too. I can see that here is the original motion and here is my motion. Okay. The name of the motion that we just launched. I'll go ahead and hit load. Now I can see that she now does that motion. Okay. Which is cool. Again, I can click off of it. Okay. That, yeah. Awesome. So I can see that she's doing uh, that motion. And by the way, if, if you, um, if your viewport can't handle it, I can always go to this and now it'll kind of go quicker and I can see that obviously the textures are always there, but I'll leave it there cause it kind of looks cool. Um, so again, you can see, Hey, this is cool. I can, um, I can now bring in as many animations as I want. I import the character comes in with textures, all that good stuff. Um, but how do I, if I wanted to animate the character myself, how would I do that? Because there's, um, yes, there's a skeleton, but there's not really a control rig. Okay. So what's cool is we can just go like this. We can go edit preferences and then in blender, I'm just going to search rigify. Okay. I'm going to make sure that Rigify is checked. Now you don't have to download Rigify. It just automatically is in Blender. Okay. So, um, no sense in, um, finding it, but you have to enable it. So once it's enabled now, again, in here, um, you can just simply click on Rigify. So I can see again, she's doing all of this. If I click on Rigify, Um, it's going to take some time. It's going to think, and then we're going to have the uh, controls on her that are then animatable. Okay. And then we can kind of control whatever we want to do. So again, I'm just going to let her think. Okay, cool. Take a look at that. Now we have a full control rig that is on here. 
and um, doing its thing. So I feel like really, really cool stuff. And if we wanna see how that's working, if I go here to pose, now if I select this control rig, I can come here and you can see, oh, <laughs> I don't wanna do that, uh, select that. You can see that the character will move um, and whatever I wanna do. So if I grab this, okay, that can move um, down to even obviously finger controls. Um, here, if I go like this, I can see that we have foot controls. We have, um, if you really get into it, um, you can switch between FK and IK um, with the hands, and, and I'll do a Rigify uh, tutorial, but I feel like, again, it, this is so cool because I feel like all of this is set up and you could do custom, um, you know, custom animations. The other thing here right now is you can see that I have that motion on here. Now, let's say if I want to do my own motion, uh, but from this starting point, what I could do, again, if I select her, whoop, I got to go to object mode, select her uh, body here. Now I can come here and I could simply just say, um, uh, let me see. Yeah. Um, I would, oh yeah, right here. So I'm just going to clear this. And when I clear it, it's gonna take all these keyframes away. So if I hit clear, now you can see that there's nothing on here. So now I could, I could just do my own animation. Um, again, super cool. The other thing is that this is not, um, I mean, it's all of the stuff from Character Creator came over here. So obviously this looks really good, but if we look at kind of behind the scenes, if I go to the shading tab um, and if I click on her, Take a look at how complex this uh, shading structure is on our, our character, where all of these textures, and I can see if I click on this, here's the, um, you know, the normal map and the color maps and all of this stuff. Here's the wrinkle maps. Um, so when she does different expressions, you can see that those wrinkle maps are coming in. And um, so again, a lot of cool stuff. Other thing is if I click on, whoa, let's go back here. Um, I can go over here and I can see all of the blend shapes are here. So if I wanted to keyframe and go like open um, mouth, you can see that I can, uh, that looks kind of weird there, but I feel like I could do all of the, the blend shapes and all that good stuff. So um, let me know what you think about this. I feel like it's really cool, this idea of character creator being uh, compatible with Blender, just kind of this easy back and forth with one button click. All right, guys, let me know uh, what you create.